with that, we're ready. Keys, Animorphs, take it away. <laughs> All right, uh, we, we are live now, yes? I'm a super, how, I'm No, we're not. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I am Keys Ron, obviously. Um, this is Animorphs. I have far too many people behind me though. this. Um, th there we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this game again. So you can tell this is a really good speed game because uh, it mentions saving the animals. Yeah, so the first thing you're gonna notice is he's gonna be transforming into the dog pretty frequently to move around in the overworld. <laughs> I can nice. start. Perfect. Now, those of you who are connoisseurs of the very first run, the very first change to the route is me beating up this monkey. Ooh. And there, there's a particular reason why. So both the monkey and the snake, spoiler, <laughs> move at turbo freaking speed. So here we are. Uh, hey, Sprink, what do I want to get rid of? Oh, a kangaroo. All right, very good. <laughs> so Sprink's on here, because like I said, he's the world record holder, and he's my advisor. <laughs> yeah. So... Oh, my uh -oh. God, Horror. He, no, 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 hear me out. Yeah, hear me don't, out. just don't save. I'm not, I'm not going to save. Losing the minigame. So we're already losing two minutes. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. I can assure you that practice did not go like this. Aw. Aw. Get used to that screen. Uh, where the heck did I save? <laughs> Help. Help you me. Might, I think you have bat already. Um, uh, maybe we'll, not. We'll, we'll I do. Um, in the meantime, if anyone's wondering what the uh, story is going on in the, in the game of Animorphs and how it relates to the plotline of the Animorphs book series, so are we. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's oh, okay. we got it. Oh, dog, dog is going oh, dog in. Dog. hungry today. Let's go. Whoa. Dog. All right. Now, now that we're a little built up, the actual plot is lion. Oh, no. So we got to beat up the lion. <laughs> All right. Meow. 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 Oh, come meow. on. Oh, meow. Ooh, God. All right. Well, uh, dog goat. or elephant? Go. 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 Yeah, go that kick. Kick that kick. lion. Kick oh, that oh, lion. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dog time, lion probably? Kick you. Just make sure neither morph dies and it doesn't matter. Yes. Come on, Come on please. please. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, so, Shen, do you want to give a brief history lesson about this mini game? Now uh, you jump. Thank you. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah. That was kind of scary, but it's okay. Someone's really happy I made that jump. I am too. Okay, well, whoever's not, you can leave right now. <laughs> How rude. First try. You think? It's not looking like it. Oh, believe please. in the dog, dude. Always believe, believe in the dog. Dog is hungry today. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Dog, woof, what are you doing? Woof, 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 woof. Come on, dog. You can do it. All right, lion. That was pretty good. Hey. Lion. Come on, lion. Oh, no. 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 That's not looking good. No. Uh -oh. No. It's fine. Come on, dog. Oh, where's dog? Lion needs to put in the work. Come on. Oh! Oh! oh. Lion! 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 Yeah! Yes, lion. Yes. Wow, that was... That's arguably the hardest part of fighting the game. So it, it's nothing but <laughs> yeah. smooth sailing from here on out, right, Keith? Uh, yeah, yeah there's, <laughs> we're, we can't possibly lose from not. here. No, not at all. <laughs> now then, how many of you like game overs? Oh, I love Game oh, Over Skis. Well, boy, howdy, I got one for you. So we have to get the shark, because the dolphin isn't good enough to beat the final boss of this area. Nice. Good, good show. All right, three times. <laughs> this, this is, uh... Oh, I like this strategy. Oh, 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 oh this is working. Oh, no. no. The opposite works. <laughs> Do that all the time. Oh, Squid's put in work. Squidward, no! Squidward! Yeah. And that's 75%. Hooray! Everything from this point onwards has never been seen at GDQ. Yeah. 
I'm so sorry. All right, there we go. Come on, bear. Bear. Bear, 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 bear. Oh. OK. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> nice crit. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 come on, oh, come on, dog. Dog, dog, come on, dog, dog, dog. dog. Yeah. yes, yeah, no, <laughs> it's fine, it's, no, not you, not you, oh, God, listen, okay, you gotta, gotta win, be yes, yes, okay, you four, gotta be four four even clover. more handsome <laughs> if you want to beat Animorphs at GDQ, <laughs> let's go, <laughs> all right, so now that I'm uh, older, wiser, and more handsome, we're gonna win, Okay. Why did that work? <laughs> all right, Sprinks, it's all you. So world record <sighs> holder here. Th this is a purposeful reset. So the fifth mission <laughs> is actually not intended to be reached. Uh, the developers, I guess, left a password in the game. No reference to it on the internet at all until somebody named Lucky Typhlosion found it. You're gonna see some. Sick menuing here. Let's let's go, Spring. Let's give it up for Spring right now. Woo! Let's go, Spring. Thought everything was scary up to this point in time. Have I got news for you? There are no <laughs> saves in the fifth mission. Get good, Keys. That's not happening. <laughs> Keys, what does that say? A urine. Here we go. Thank you, buddy. So we're gonna go to the zoo. We're gonna pick up a bunch of animals like we have in the past. And we're gonna hope, and we're gonna pray, and Wolf is gonna carry us to victory, and then everyone behind me is gonna carry me up in the air, and we're gonna celebrate, and none of that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, we're, 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 we're dipping out. We're dipping out. We're dipping out. We're not dipping out. Hey, Sprink, uh, how good are you at putting in the password again? <laughs> All right, so here me. Okay, so for the first time ever, give it up for world record holder, Dr. Sprinkles. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Speaking of Hyde Light, how's that a joke for Sam looking? Uh, we are like seriously like two hundred and twenty something dollars away. We really need this to go. All right. <laughs> Wait, what? You're doing great, buddy. Here, here's You're the doing thing. Great. If what? I die once. It doesn't matter because we're safe afterwards. So, uh, read some donations, please. What? No, can wait, what? What is going on? Don't worry I about need, it. Read donations. But I need explanations. No, yeah, I'll explain it later. Read donations. Fine. Please. We have a $20 donation. So, keys are on. You have a dilemma here. Yes. So, you're getting that $50 donation, but you also said, I have to ban you if you go over estimate. <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry, but there is two minutes left. Please don't mercy kill. Can you change the estimate to 55, please? Do <laughs> <laughs> you guys mind? Oh, do stop. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh my oh, god, oh. he's going in. Oh, Come on, elephant, please. Elephant. please. Elephant. Two hits. Elephant. One more hit. Elephant. Yes! Yeah! Alright, we are almost done. I, I need you to get out of the way. We are almost done. Oh. Time. 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 Woo! Keys, give us some counterweight. Give it up to Keys are on 5231. All right, I know we're behind on time, so I'm not going to take your time up. Thanks. 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 Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. By the way, happy birthday, Keys. <laughs> so this is Super Hydlide. Uh, it's actually the best Hydlide game, which is a low bar somewhere in a sewer. Um, I call it my favorite 12-bit game, because as you're going to see, uh, it's not an 8-bit game, but it definitely doesn't look like a 16-bit game. And we are going to start in three, Two, one, and go. We're putting the fastest cause it's a feed or run. We're throwing some coins in a pond. And it's really kind of a chore. But this is the fastest way to get to that level four. And we are going to the first dungeon. If this NPC gets out of my way, NPC is one of the most brutal enemies in this game. 
It's all good. <laughs> it's oh, okay. So that is an off-screen enemy. Uh, enemies can be one tile off-screen, and you can't see them, but they can still hit you. Why? <laughs> because super hide like Kizaron. Because super hide like. Okay, we're gonna take this really carefully. Nice. Okay, we beat the first boss. There's only four in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's worth noting that the only save points are whenever I sleep at an inn. So you know. Mm. Unlike Animorphs, I can't bail myself out with a password. I still couldn't <laughs> bail myself out. <laughs> I mean, I'm banned anyways, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to get the best weapon in the game. Can you guess what it is? A wolf? <laughs> oh, yeah, dog? <laughs> dog, <laughs> dog, 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 dog. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, please don't sue us, Disney. It's actually... A lightsaber! <laughs> and we have the Sega Pack. So, very important item. We gotta use it right away. So, you have got some Sega products. It's a oh. go! Oh. <laughs> so, this game has items that are, <laughs> that are solely in there to troll you, and they are completely useless, and they are jokes. And the Japanese version says, ha ha ha, it's a joke. Doll, hi, I'm Yumi. Hi, Yumi. Hello. It's a joke! Hey. Uh, next. What's your definition of good? <laughs> uh, it's kind of messed up after all the bad games I've played because <laughs> I actually legitimately like this game. It, it has, it's really weird and janky and not good and really cheap like that with the <laughs> off-screen enemies, but... Oh. And here's the final dungeon, which I love this game soundtrack, but this one's a little high-pitched. Just I a little. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I am Kaizak, the Lord in Darkness and your creator. It is a pity you must die here. You can see me, but can you destroy me? Well, let's see. <laughs> So um, we gotta hit the mouth, so it's not shooting at us. We gotta pop the pimples, um, so we can actually kill this I boss. Hate it. It's a blaster master boss. Oh no, I hate it. What is that? <laughs> it's Kaizak. Time will be uh, when my health starts dropping. It says I have acquired. Time. Is <laughs> what was my time? Fifty-three thirteen. Higher than Animorphs. Huh? <laughs> okay, <Mike>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fair enough. Anyway, uh, that's super high light, so I hope everyone enjoyed that. And uh, if you thought this game was too fast or, and too good, we're going to Hoshio Mirohito, so uh, stay tuned for that. <laughs> yeah, uh, hi. So this is Hoshio Mirohito, a.k.a. Densetsu no Kusoge. And if you have no idea what that means, you're about to find out. So five, four, three, two, one. Go! Okay, so after that last game where you're moving like 12 tiles a second, this one you move less than two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, so we made some pretty good progress there. Uh, so I made a quick safety save, and now we're on the second continent. Hey, for a... So quick interruption. We just got a random in battle. Oh, this is our no. first random battle of the fight a game, and we can't win this. So we're going to reset. <laughs> good. <laughs> Off to a great start already. <laughs> uh, so this game was sort of made very quickly to be a competitive Dragon Quest, and it failed miserably. It was made by, like, <laughs> one guy who was given a very short deadline, and it shows. Yeah. So as you're probably noticing, I'm moonwalking. So when I'm moonwalking, uh, half the game thinks I'm moving up, half the game thinks I'm moving down, and shenanigans ensue. For instance, I'm walking backwards over obstacles. When I walk backwards over obstacles, the game is checking down to see whether or not I can walk forwards, and then it's walking me up. So anyway, so we're right here, we're picking up a bunch of fruit off of that tree, and then we need to get to an NPC, but so we're just gonna walk, moonwalk, and that brings the NPC to us, which just is twice as fast. <laughs> Boy, um, that was, okay, we're gonna bring her back up to us, and then, <laughs> so we notice here that we see that there's nothing on the left side of the screen, now I'm gonna walk back over, and I'm gonna moonwalk, and now there is now forest on the left side of the screen. So by moonwalking on that one tile, I've now loaded the right side of the map and put it on the left side of the map. So you want to, like, explain the category and why is this 2P1C? Oh, well, it's 2P1C because I am 1P and I'm using 2C. <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, so again, so I'm switching characters here because each individual character has their own money supply. So if I hadn't switched characters, <laughs> we would have just run out of money. <laughs> Can't deal with this game. <laughs> that is the uh, correct response. Uh, for this game, the official control composer on that soundtrack is listed as question mark. Because ain't nobody want to be associated with this game. <laughs> Uh, it's my favorite fact of all of them. So this guy, he's a sleeper. 
um, which is fantastic because this is this guy gives at 64 HP to start, but he gives a thousand XP. So we start. So we just dealt 17, which means we're down down to 40, 47. Sorry, have to make sure I get the number right. Do not want to lose track. Sorry. 42, nice. 41, <laughs> 38, 37, 34, 31, 28. We have time for a donation while we count down to New Year's. Uh, no, oh. I, I'd, I'd rather not do that right now. Sorry. Fair enough. Uh, 20, 25, 23. 22, 22. One HP at a time. 19, okay, we're at 19, so okay, we want big money on the bad air roll. Let's Come on, 50-50. We got yes. there, Woo! we got him down. 1,000 HP, 58 gold. We leveled up, we are level nine, which means we are high enough to beat the game. After this, we have to walk over exactly one encounter tile, and the odds of getting an encounter are about one in six. I'm told I was told it was one in eight by a person who hacked the game. I don't believe them. I'm pretty sure it's one in six. But we got over Woo! the first one. Fantastic. But there is one more encounter tile. This is the biggest butt clench of the run. Um, so we just got to make it one square over encounter tiles. Come on. Yeah! yeah! We made it over. But this is an RPG, and what self-respect in RPG does not end with a fight, so we're gonna choose that option. So let's let's just get hyped right now for the final FOSS battle. Woo! Let's fight for right, let's humankind! Go. Let's do this! Fight! We lost. Oh. They didn't finish programming the final boss battle into the game. Um, <laughs> we just automatically lost. Uh, yeah, this is the final cutscene. That is, is time is coming up in about two seconds now. Time. Wow. There's not even any credits. Nope. Who would want to be credited for this Nobody game? Nobody wants to be credited. I uh, wanted to say a word really quickly before we start this game. Uh, this game was developed by a very, very small team as sort of a fun project um, for Steam. And so we're going to do our very best to have fun with the game, but not exp at the expense of the game. The very first trick that we're going to see is I'm going to just walk into a cutscene and it's going to allow me to um, glide through text or through through collisions. So and it, to uh, casual players, it, it happens to about 99% of them because they just walk into the cutscene and here we go. Yeah, there it it's is. Basically impossible not to do this. Oh, I've gone too far. I've gone too far. The angle was not good. All right. Well, <laughs> that is. Uh, <laughs> That's sort of the black stone for you. Okay, so actually in this game, it's uh, it doesn't cost you anything to die anywhere except for the very first no. one. So we're, we're taking it from the top. Oh, also, uh, if I just leave the cursor in the middle of the screen, I know how frustrating that is. Just yell at me. <laughs> All right. There this go. looks good. There we go. That was much better. Beautiful. Seven seconds into the run, at last we meet, says our uh, first companion. Regardless. Yeah, our, our tutor. Uh, we get a little mouthy with her. Uh, she's like, okay, Boomer, uh, sorry, uh, sorry that you want me to be nice. And she's like, look, I'm just gonna have to come along with you if you're gonna be this way. So this is the first instance of the pause flight. Uh, if you pause the game <laughs> while using your shield and moving at the same time, you can just fly through the air. This guy on our back is a character. We don't have time to talk about him because coming up is our first boss fight. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah. Mouse. Oh, sorry. Thank you. But we're gonna get a very cool uh, weapon. I actually legitimately think this weapon is very cool. The focusing cannon is a, a big black cannon with a scary face on it. Uh, it does a lot of damage. We're gonna use it in a, a pretty interesting way to fight this boss. It's not flashing, but it's shaking. It's something. Warning, and you have hey, eyes. You know what? Take care of yourself. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good fight. Yeah. That was a pretty good fight. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a boss fight. Uh, this is a boss where, again, the beam on our back just pointed 90 degrees to the left. Is the, It's the ideal way to combat things in this game. Hey, we're having a lot of fun here. I understand this game's happening at you pretty fast. We're able to just fly around in here and do most of this. Um, by the way, this introduces our new mechanic, which is that you can attack while paused. <laughs> <laughs> the boss is going through his attack phases right now while the game is paused. Boss is dead. <laughs> um, turn. Okay, so we're gonna meet our last. Um... This is Tachi. Uh, there's a lot going on right here. Uh, uh, some shorts that wrap around uh, hips like that uh, must have been specially ordered. We've got a five dollar donation from Jam Jamerson. They say it's really nice of DeviantArt to supply the art for this game. <laughs> Uh, another lovely boss fight. 
So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna scooch on in here. And, um, all right, so we're gonna fight Dark Vol now. He's coming out. He's mad. He does not like uh, raising money for charity. <laughs> Thank you. Now I know what side you're on. All right, we're in it. Here it is, the final boss. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, this fight would be really difficult because it's sort of spinning around, it's shooting, the hitbox is really hard to find. Turns out that all the difficulty is mitigated by just holding the shield button and it stops spinning. Um, and if I jump way above it, which is where its hitbox is naturally, not a goof. All right, so there we go. That's the first phase done. It sort of pushes me back as I chase at it. I'm not gonna get a good hit in, but once again, hold down the shield button, it stops moving. That's sort of All that's right. baby, and time. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. And be it. because like of the recent discovery of an extra companion. Oh, yeah, we didn't mention. Yeah, so Mythical actually, during his casual playthrough, uh, found a companion we had missed. And so every run on the leaderboard is uh, invalid now. <laughs> and this... In my defense, this was a very good run and would have likely still have been world record even with the goof. Oh. But it's by default world record, too. So. <laughs> hey, hello, hello, hello. What is going on? This is Castle of the Dragon. I am Apollo22237. I will introduce my squires real quick on the couch. First, I have MC Aaron Ice from House Gilligan. My lord. And then time starts in three. Two, one, go. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Medieval's In this game, you can hear you can hear the, the screen flashing and you can hear the buzzing that goes on when I get hit. When that happens, there's a good chance that none of my buttons are gonna work and I'm just gonna get stuck. And it's Shrek. What oh, is going on? Get out of a swamp. Is he wearing overalls? I mean, you gotta look good. This is, this is the main event here. So again, I'm, I'm trying to just hop a little to reduce the chances that uh, I get stuck and that's another boss down. Woo! Awesome. We have that fire upgrade again. Now we get platforming, which in this game is very scary. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you see me, I'm just gonna be clenched the entire time I go for a jump. Just so everyone knows, if anything happens, if I lose my life, if I fall in one of those pits, it is game over. Start from the beginning. Oh, hold on, we got this, we got this. Huzzah, we got it, I'm getting him. Yeah! yeah. Let's get him. him, we got him. Done, Dude, that easy, was there that we was go. Tough. Here is one of the toughest platforming sections of the game. Anyone that's played this knows this could be bad. So he's, that little practice hop there is just to make sure that his jump is still working before he jumps himself. Otherwise, he would just walk, walk right off the edge and die. Oh my God. Very, nice. <laughs> Very good. Not over yet. All right, the jump is working. Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah. <laughs> There's times where I throw this flail and it just damages myself for no reason. I'll just throw it and it'll just start hitting me. <laughs> My liege doth we haveth time for yonder donation. Absolutely. Verily. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, wait. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> this is just the entire game. This would be just so, so easy. Another one down. So we got it. We got a tough fire jump coming here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully whoa, I don't whoa, fall. Whoa, whoa, Hopefully whoa, I don't whoa, fall. Whoa, 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 Oh, no! Oh, yeah, okay. oh it's, it's totally fine. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm ready. I'm Let's, ready. Go. Uh, wait, Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Uh, uh, Let's go. Wait, wait a minute. I don't. I don't. Let's think go. You, you can do this. Wait, wait, wait. You're MCA, getting him. MCA, wait, yes. I don't think you did that. Oh shoot. Oh sorry. 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 Hold on. Oh sorry, man. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Can you see now? Oh. Okay. Okay. So I will say this is this is the final boss. There is a very real chance that this run ends right here, and that's it. I'm either going to be the greatest hero in GDQ history, or the loser knight who cannot save the princess. So the tension is there. Again, there is a very real chance I game over, and this is done, and we all go home sad. So let's go. Here we go. We're ready. Let's go. The hitbox is random. He could, his head could go somewhere. I won't be able to hit him, and that's it. Like, nothing I can do about it. Done! We did it! Woo! We did it! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> I know off the block, you know, we make fun of these games, but there's a reason we, these games are fun. There's a charm. I, I, I say everyone, everyone pick this up. Try to try to get through the first level. Good luck, everybody, and good luck, chat room. <laughs> Welcome to the greatest game you never knew you needed. My name is Zick. So, for those of you that 
didn't see the interview earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is it. We're ready. There are going to be eight uh, sporting events that come out. The order they come out in is completely random. You get a rating from zero to a hundred percent. You need at least six hundred percent to topple King Croc. There's no guarantee we even get to six hundred percent, but we're gonna try our best. If we lose, the cutscene's great. So um, <laughs> this is a sporting event. Let's be loud. Let's have fun and. Uh, all right, let's count it down. Three, two, one, one go. go. Darts. <laughs> darts. Good start. Oh. This, so this is darts. If you ever wanted your crosshair with ice physics, this is it. <laughs> so this is King Croc. That's King Croc. Yeah, That's all. Holds left, now it spins. Oh, please. Was darts the one you didn't want to get? Yes. Okay. I am still amazed they willingly let us come up here and install this game on their PC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. You guys are gonna have to carry me. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? Oh, we Ooh. got dive. This game wouldn't know a dive if it punched it in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so here's your dive. <laughs> Perfect. You can keep spinning in the water. That's all we're going with that. <laughs> and... Here we go. All right. Tramp leaning. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> so how are you doing, Arthur? Well, I'm, I, I didn't fully appreciate what I was getting into when I agreed to be up here. Notice that there is no zebra character in this picture. <laughs> we don't really have to do it. Uh, I'm having a great <laughs> time. <laughs> Trampoline, we got it. We got you. Oh, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All right, pay attention to the height of all of the animals in this. <laughs> wow! <laughs> pole vaulting. This is pole vaulting. Probably the most impressive sports feat I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, tennis is beautiful because you can just do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you play tennis. So to get the first point, you just immediately spam space yeah. bar, and you win. It's fine. Yeah, and if you hit the post, you get a point. So this is, this is how real tennis looks, right? <laughs> That's it. We did it. Did it. <laughs> Give it up for Stubler. Beautiful. 100%. Amazing. Gymnastics. Can't argue with results. Oh, boy, gymnastics is beautiful, too. <laughs> Right, we gotta get the 22 here. That's two, three. Let's get that count. He's just no. coming right onto the field. <laughs> King Croc plays by his own rules. Oh yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, this is hurdles. Uh, this is the most. Yep. Well, that's hurdles. This is how you do hurdles. <laughs> yeah. This you is can only absolutely how you do hurdles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> we got this. Yeah, you can only jump. Got to avoid the, the hedgehog. I just kicked the hedgehog by accident. No. Oh, you no, can save this. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I think you earned more than six oh, there. All right, there's a lot to take in here. It's got some good music though. In this yeah. Oh, just... Yeah, if it looks far on the top right, you can see a rhino just like trying to ski but not really good at it. This Amazing. is Wild Animal Sports Day. All right, that's the last game. Oh, boy. We're going to see how so we now, did now. We have to see if we got 600% and, uh, and cleared. Come on. Ah! Yes! <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> We are now the king of the animals, and we get sent off into space. <laughs> Is there anything you guys want to say? No. Uh, no. Thanks, Paul Bird. <laughs> Over to Cool Kid for some of the best music in all of video games, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Rocky and Bullwinkle. Go and go. Here we go. This game has rather uh, notorious music, I hear. Yeah, I think it is. It's, it's, it's the peak, the peak of the NES right here. But surely they can't get any worse than this, right? Yeah. 
So here I'm doing the, the bull slide. <laughs> Very nice looking move. Uh, it allows me to move fast without losing health. Uh, platform jumps here that are the hitboxes. You can't even oh. tell where they are. Yeah. <laughs> this is just what happens. Better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 one more. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, yeah! yeah. Swag swag. Let's go. The inputs in this game can be very laggy. I tried, I pressed B like 10 times without flying. So checkpoint now, this is the final screen of the game. We're very close. It's about four seconds away of beating the game, and there we go. Yeah! Yes, you win! You win! You win! We did it. I don't know what the story is here, but uh, no, there you go. Yeah, I mean, moose money. Moose money, IRS. You win! Yeah. I, I don't either, to be honest, but it's a really fun speed run. Um, fun, short. That's about it? That's the best five minutes of my life. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching. Good job, cool kid. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Awful Block. We got this gem of a game right here Jurassic Park There's 3 no Down Defender, loosely Find based off of the movie, and, and we're going to jump right into it. Oh, these this are gonna be something a Dino else. Defender alert. The situation is critical in Jurassic Park. Prepare to exit. This might be a little bumpy. It's pretty intense. <laughs> Clearly, the character in the game is Master Chief. I don't know why they decided on that. And uh, the armor isn't helping him very much. We're just getting killed immediately right here. So we should be good on air here. You see air is up in the top right, but uh, it's gonna be close. Nice. nice. And uh, <laughs> they couldn't get us. Head injuries to save time. Let's throw a jawbreaker at that guy. He's he's done. Um, here's a glitch coming up that I've never showed anyone before. Because this guy's kind of hard to deal with. So uh, let's. Uh... Options. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> it's just been climbing for the past, like, minute, probably. And then, uh, suddenly... Oh, no, a T-Rex! What are we gonna do? He's okay. gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, do you really just leave the gate open? How will we ever get out of this? I mean, clearly the bridge will support both your weight, right? Yeah. Ah, there it goes. Is that an elephant noise? Yeah. <laughs> that was definitely not a dinosaur. I stayed on that screen to have the sound play out. There is another sequence break here. You're supposed to climb up around all the vines and all the branches up there, but uh, let's just go back this way towards the exit. And we're done. All right, now we have the final boss. How do we how do we defeat this Myasaurus? We drop all these skeleton models on him and listen to him like <laughs> his comedic screeches. <laughs> Alright, get ready on time. Time. For good measure. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta listen to our commander at the end. Outstanding Thanks, work, much. Dino Defender. As your chief, it gives me great pride to award you these dinosaur cards. Click <laughs> on the ones you'd like to print out. Then click on the print button. I'd like to give uh, one shout out to uh, my grandmother for uh, buying me this game when I was six. Who knows what it would have panned out like this. <laughs> oh, this is Cyber Tenant Granger, and we are doing chat percent, which means any en enemy that I'm going to encounter I am going to chat with them because there's one part in the game you're supposed to chat with somebody, but the programmers decided, hey, let's give all the enemies the ability to chat with you. So let's get to it. So now we're starting the speed run and we're just going to hold down the right arrow button. Oh, wait a sec. First, gotta talk to this robot. Beware of what follows. The rest of the game? Oh, wow. Yeah, and now yeah. a floaty, dead men tell no <laughs> tales, which obviously. I don't know how we're talking to dead people, but there you go. Look some more. Oh, frig! <laughs> <laughs> it just happens like that, and I can't control anything. The ledges are RNG, meaning that I just jumped off it, and it disappeared right under me. I only have ice for you. Why? What? 
so I'm going to shoot him with the salt shooter. Oh, I have gifts. Okay. Oh, well, okay. I worked my gift. He just blew off. All the platforms in this game are RNG, and this is a lava level. We're going to reset our health oh, and just no. die. So platforms are RNG, meaning that I need platforms in order to not get damaged by lava. It's a mark of wonderful game design when you get yes. spawned directly above a lava pit. There. Where are the platforms? <laughs> um, it is impossible on any difficulty other than easiest. I'm just saying that right now. So if, oh, you, no. if you don't touch anything, you fall to your death. So you have to hold right, and you have to lure him by going to the very right of the friggin' screen, and with the controls, it is scary because sometimes left doesn't want to put you back onto the ledge. Almost close enough to talk to, just a little bit, just a, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> so now he has to repeat the entire boss. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna tell you a little factoid about this team. Um, yeah, so uh, in my long history of GDQ, uh, NPC is the only person who I've seen angry that their game was accepted for a GDQ. <laughs> this is the reason! Look, this game... Everything is going wrong here in the worst possible way. I suppose now's a good time to point out that among all of the bars at the top of the screen, the one in the bottom middle is called the salt bar, and I don't believe it's calibrated properly because it's currently empty. <laughs> Okay. Oh, boss. Time. Let's talk to boss. Oh. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> <laughs> so we're now going to shoot. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh. oh. There we go. Woo! Yay, 12 pod collected. We beat the. Wait a sec. Nope. We didn't beat nope. the game. Because the right door is a red herring. <laughs> So we're going to go into this door, and we're going to meet the final enemy of this game. So we're going to talk to him, and he says, are those the only weapons you've got? And he is dead. <laughs> so Witness gave us that insta-kill enemy. Oh, time. That's time. Woo! You can see right here, it says that it was under the direction of Mother Brain. So if you are a Metroid runner, you have to run this game too. Good morning, Awful Block. Uh, so what's your favorite part of the Mega Man games? Oh. Mine's the swimming. Uh, I like when Mega Man plays soccer. <laughs> there goes Shark Man. Mega Man, you've defeated Shark Man. Thank you, pure white ghost Santa. <laughs> You are it's terrifying. Boomerang. Let me let me go into the deep, varied lore of the Mega Man DOS universe. So this game was made by one dude. His name is uh, Rosner. It is in fact a licensed, actual like Mega Man game. It is official. It is canon. Uh, and if anyone you know like tries to pretend otherwise, I'm not going to do anything. Thank you, Ghost Santa. Next up is Bitman. You know, Definitely not that, Hardman. For a game that has no music and just beeps, those beeps are really aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> this is the longest ladder. Okay, so now we have Bitman, who is the only robot master with a different pattern. Oh, I love him. What? Okay, there he goes. The you worst installed level. antivirus software. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turrets here that just, A, are impossible to see. Oh my goodness gracious. I love the contrast of the white on white. I swear. <laughs> um, they're impossible to see. Oh, holy moly. Okay. I s <laughs> I was gonna make a DOS homebrew port of like Mega Man 11. Oh, no, don't you, no, please. <laughs> no, they deal so much damage. I can't I believe will, you were subjected to this. I will teach this to literally anyone. No one's asking. <laughs> I, I'd like to learn. There is literally no one on the other side of this. <laughs> uh, hello, and welcome to uh, Dr. Wily's rave party. Woo! Woo! I don't know why Wily is taking a bath in chemicals, but hey, whatever works. And uh, time will be coming up. Time. What was my time? 1837. That is... 
three, four seconds off the world record. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go rest my eyes. Uh, three, two, one, go. Yeah, there's kind of a lot going on to this game that's maybe not obvious from just watching it. Um, yeah. The game can be a little bit tricky. Uh, there's a whole lot of things flying at you, and it's sometimes, especially if you haven't ever seen this game before, hard to decipher uh, what is good and what is bad, what are enemies and what are... The gates they didn't want to open there. Project <laughs> our uh, pickups. He has to wait uh, to jump into that door every single time because uh, the ending tile there if it's still flashing with its animation, it just kills you, so. Yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna get the other power-up that exists in just a moment, and it's triangle shoes for invincibility. Honestly, if I hadn't <laughs> known better, I would have assumed that that triangle was there to kill me. Yeah, yeah, the squares kill you, but triangles and that's, red orbs are good. That's obvious, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, and the other thing is, is that when you beat the game the first time, it says, surprise, that's actually not it, and you have to play the whole game again, except for it gets a little more trolly and a little more mean. Um, yeah. We're only going to do one loop, because the second loop is all the stages you've already seen, except for the game's mad at you now. Like... <laughs> Look, when we submit these games to GDQ, we oh. don't tell them we want it in Awful Block. They make a decision about our game. And I just want to say <laughs> that I disagree with some of these choices. This next level is the hardest level and has the hardest jump. I'm pretty convinced it's not up to me, though. Uh, it's, it's like halfway through the level. A good game, like I mentioned. <laughs> you may be uh, wondering why he sort of jumps in place there. That's because that's how you open the door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, I didn't make the game. <laughs> People in yeah. the audience out here are like, huh, can you explain that to me? No, I can't. <laughs> well, we're lucky. That, that was the jump, and we're now riding a bunch of diapers. This should be good. There we go. Well, the game's not over yet, I assure you. Yeah. All right. One more level to go. Um, there is actually a ship you're supposed to enter later on in this level after you save your friend, but we're gonna do neither of those anymore. And we often... Also, these crushers just go, like, rapid fire. Yeah, you'll, you'll see just a moment after I get my suit back. Yeah, look how fast it goes now. Right, so we're gonna grab this for rapid fire and get compressed. This is where we save our friend. So there's supposed to be a oh. little machine there that uh, gives you your friend, which actually changes a lot. That's not like a... Yeah. It's not just a cutscene <laughs> skip. Uh, you can only move left or right while in the air jumping, but we're skipping all that. And... Now time's coming up. Yeah, time's coming up after we get in the ship and the screen changes. I was doing so well on that I level, too. I know, I know. <laughs> time. time. <laughs> but that, yeah, that was Miracle Rocket Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Great Barbie Race of 2020. Uh, I'm Sharfers. I'm Kajink87. We're uh, uh, one third of a second apart right now. Yep. On go. Woo! All right. So first things first. Yes, that is her jump sound. Uh, yes, we're, you're going to hear it a lot. And uh, no, I am not sorry. Yeah. So what is it, what's happening right now? <laughs> uh, we're at a mall. <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> uh, we have these beach balls that are harassing us. Uh, this is going to be a theme. How do you propose we get rid of these beach balls? I mean, obviously, the best way to get rid of a beach ball is to feed the kitty. You feed the kitty? Right? All right, let's feed the kitty then. And the cat also has the best meow ever. Yeah, it goes... It's a pizza. That's also a pizza. Yeah, so we're going to avoid pizza. So why are we jumping over pizzas? Because, because Barbie doesn't like carbs. Uh, Complex carbohydrates is not obviously. good for your figure. Donation from Chef Tig saying, Hi, Kajinkles, Chef no. here. We're rooting for you. Thanks, Chef. <laughs> all right, so we're, we're we, so uh, if we have to skip all the cutscenes, obviously. But um, what uh, Barbie said is, Let's go to the beach. And what she meant by let's go to the beach is, Let's become a mermaid and swim through a coral maze. All right, this is unfortunate for me, but. Uh, oh, oh, she died. No. Wow. That's all right, That's I'm good. gonna die a lot right now. It's fine, I've only been running this game for five years, so it's fine. This jukebox. 
this jukebox, uh, you're inside of the jukebox, and you see that record running underneath you. So it basically acts as a conveyor belt and takes you back to the beginning of the stage. You can lose anywhere between 20 and 40 seconds every time you fall. So this is the absolute run killer. Uh, this is why even though we both have 12 uh, 18s, <laughs> this is a 16 minute estimate. Woo! It's, it. this, oh. it's this level. Did you actually go for it I, twice? I got the baby note skip. And you gotta get all of these coins spinning at the right velocity. Otherwise, the yeah. music notes kill you. Yes. So you're, you're in the, yeah, you're in the coin Damn. return. Woo! Time. That's time, by the way. That's time. So you're in the coin return. Wait for it. And that's fine. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And with that, it is time for the game that everyone stopped on when you read the schedule. You can't have an awful block without Normie's Beach babe Rama being run by Cook. Take it away. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much for showing up. Thank you. I appreciate everyone who decided to stick with bad games instead of watching the Pokemon Direct. You're the real winners out there. All right. Um, are ready to count down? Three, two, one, go. All right. Normies is an incredibly, incredibly, incredibly fast game on the Sega Genesis where the goal is to dash as fast as possible and not uh, fall into any of the instant death places that are everywhere and not get pinballed around by enemies. Yeah, so exactly. the plot of this game is incomprehensible and silly and stupid. And so now we're in England in 1447 uh, AD now to rescue a person here from a w witch who captured the princess. Uh, who was a babe. Yes. All right, here comes a uh, boss that should be over in about five seconds. <laughs> These bo that boss has no iframes, so if you just time your attacks right, you're good. Um, most of the time, uh, these levels are more horizontally structured, so you'll just go off to your death, like fall to your death if you clip through it, but in certain spots, you can fall through to the next part of the level. Yep, that spells level normie there. So if I line up just right and jump, there we go. <laughs> so I want to dash across. I want to climb up this waterfall, get this one up, dash across, and not die. Oh, that's Ooh. good. Clip here. All right. It's definitely worth trying a few times. Yep, there we go. So this boss, I want to be very careful. Usually you spawn in from the right. Um, I spawn in from the left. <laughs> the game doesn't like it when I spawn in from the left because this boss is supposed to jump around the arena, but it just jumps into a wall, gets stuck, which makes it really easy to speed run. <laughs> this big death ray machine's there. I just unplug it, and now I'm in the Pac-Man mini game. <laughs> I'm sorry that had to happen. And now we're in Pong. And this is actually the most RNG place in the entire run. Because sometimes the ball just decides to speed up or slow down when you can lose like 30 seconds if the computer decides to play well. So yeah, here we come more of these just terrible <laughs> monsters. Steam vents, flying asteroids, jumping green boys. Just everything you want to like this nice gauntlet. And so now I'm in a section that is um, inside the space station that's full of uh, these elevators here. And I will be pulling off real quick something hopefully fantastic and doesn't soft lock the game. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> so when I, you know when I said that when I, you hold up, you die? When you hold down, the elevator just pushes you through it and you clip through the elevator. And I got that. Oh, here we go. So I turned the gravity off so my character stops rising, and I turn it back on so he rises again, and I clip through the level there oh. and skip to, uh, that saves about no time at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I can soft lock the game, but I had to show it off at GDQ. So now Normie goes to hell. If you've ever read Dante's Inferno, you go through the different layers of hell, and I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same. Like, I remember Dante really hating uh, gym teachers. <laughs> Yeah, this, this area is incredibly hard in a casual playthrough. Come on, nerd, get hit. <laughs> no. Not taking out any nerd. Not taking out any, like, suppressed emotions right here. <laughs> what is that sound they're making? <laughs> it's like a bagpipe pickle monster, which I got to give these people credit for creativity. Like, this, this game awesome. is very, yeah, it's very charming. I did not submit it for the awful block. It just somehow it ended up here. No idea. <laughs> We're gonna face, I mean, since we're in heck, the final boss has to be the devil. So is. this boss is actually really easy. Time's gonna come up pretty soon. Um, like most bosses, you just dash into him to re reset his position. It makes it really easy to uh, take him down. He just kind of stands there. That's time. Woo! 
<laughs> Rad. That was a really good run. That felt very, very, very good. And to celebrate, we go to the beach and play some beach. Woo! Babes! Woo! We found the babes. babes. And with that, I'm being told that we're ready for our next run. So let's toss it over to Pete Doerr, who's going to be running Dr. Hauser for us. Woo! All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Pete Doerr. And <laughs> spoilers, <laughs> I'm going to skip this. Don't want to spoil it for you quite yet. So uh, this. This is a game that is something quite special that may break a record that um, is not related to time, but instead related to frame rate. Now, because the frames in this game are so poor, um, I'm going to be able to do a certain trick here in the beginning of the game that will allow me to count the frames and do a little manipulation here for you. So we're just going to walk forward and get to a very specific position, very specific. We're going to force a death, <laughs> which will allow me to death warp to the end of the game. <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way. I kind of wanted to just show you how trolly this game can be at the beginning. You can die and get a game over within the first few steps. So this next room, I'm going to show you there's three different camera angles in this game. And I'm going to go through this room utilizing all of them. So instead of going through the normal way, we're going to go through with the top-down view and <laughs> this is as fast as I can move. You can count the frames, like you really can. I'm going to transition into first person, which is equally as slow. $10 from Dasiati who says, thanks to all the souls who have suffered tonight for our entertainment. <laughs> Thank you very much for that $10. And we also have $5 from Duranti who says, donating to root for my boy Pete Dorr. You got this. He can do another one. This is a pretty lo long sequence here. <laughs> <sighs> so this was skippable, by the way, but I figured you'd all enjoy that. It also gives me a nice trick break. <laughs> First, we're going to find out what this shotgun is used for and get ready for this one. Film students, watch carefully. Multiple angle shotgun shot to take out a single panel of green glass, and that's it. If you thought we were going to be killing zombies or monsters, no, that's it. That's the last use of the shotgun in the game. And then we come across a grisly discovery, a dead body that's been drained of its life. Dr. Hauser is murdering the people that he hired to help dig at this mansion. Why is he murdering them, and what is he trying to hide? You're going to have to wait to find out. Go very carefully through this room. It would be a shame if I made a mistake and starved you all. The best death animation in survival <laughs> horror. <laughs> so a lot of people die there when they attempt to play this game. <laughs> Here's the final boss. If you equip the photo of your wife and walk forward with it, you gain invincibility. It's supposed to be like a bullet hell in a way where you're supposed to be dodging these flames. I'm putting it into first person. You're also coming up on time very shortly. Um, which gains me invincibility, so we don't have to dodge any fireballs and time. We throw the photo of his wife at him, and suddenly he, he finds her in the afterlife. He's with her. Enjoy these faces. <laughs> he finds her in the afterlife, but it's, it's short-lived, because for whatever reason, this happens. <laughs> Couldn't ask for a better ending, to be honest with you. That's going to do it. Thank you very much for having me, and enjoy the rest of Horror Games Block. <laughs> There's a, time? It's time. It is time. There's so much that I'm like, I'm not used to being on at like normal hours. Usually I'm in like the horror slot, which is like 2 a.m. So being here at noon is new to me. This is the unique privilege to be a part of a new kind of block in between horror and awful called the Horrible Block. So anyway, with that, uh, I'll count it down, we can go. So three, two, one, let's go. Let's do it. So Night Cry is a game that came out in 2016 on PC. Uh, it's Kickstarter-backed and is a spiritual successor to the classic game Clock Tower. Um, they had a goal of $300,000, wanted to get a lot more to make this game a true marvel. It made $314,000. So the budget for that is going to be very apparent in um, what you can see in all of this. Harry's going to show you how to ladies, and we're going to see 
Uh, I guess budget Dante in action. <laughs> and this is going to be the introduction, and I cry. I can say a lot here, but I'm going to let the game do the talking for me because I think it'll be best. Hopefully the cutscene doesn't skip. Sometimes it does it randomly. Go get yourself worked up now. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> what? You think a soda will get you on my good side? Hey, you're thirsty, right? Here we go. Oh, okay. What the? What is it now? Well, uh, something's grabbing my hand. What? Yeah, so, I oh, yeah? Something is grabbing my hand. I'm serious. <laughs> I love the lighting here, by the way. It's okay, that was just the reboot, Dante. And say hello to our main villain, the Scissor Walker. Bye, reboot Dante. Re Bye, Scissor Walker. Walker. <laughs> and now we're entered Nightcry. Are you all right? You look very pale. <laughs> oh, are, no. are you alive? What? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now the card's gonna build up speed for uh, I don't know how long, but this is what happens. <laughs> that man is now dead. The way that QTE looked like, it looked like you were the one building up the speed for the cart to kill that guy. Right? This is also mandatory because he has a key card I need to get onto the, uh, the floor originally on, because that's where the rest of this will take place. We're gonna be getting the next character, Leonard. Hi, Leonard. I want you all to acknowledge Leonard's walk. <laughs> That's impressive. Absolute king. I'm going to use the baseball to solve a puzzle here and just watch. Did he have to throw it? Yes. <laughs> so Leonard hits the gong and this man is going to investigate. Uh, you can see Leonard is truly a man of stealth because he hasn't been noticed. That is definitely a Metal Gear Solid guard. That's Absolutely. Sure. By the way, Leonard sneaks by, but the important part is we actually have to go right back to that gong, our gong, and now he's gone. Oh, okay. He just vanished. <laughs> Somehow, we've made it back. Somehow. <laughs> Rooney is known as the Death Wish Diva, and at many points in the game, I guess she's tempted by ocean candy to jump into the ocean. I hope you enjoy her walk. Uh, as well, she is sad and lonely, and that's the entire thing they wrote about her. But we need to hide behind these chairs. Now, there's actually a few reasons why we chose the movie theater. As you notice, everything is blue. Rooney has both the same color scheme. Oh my god, I You got, got that skip. skip. Yeah, what in the world? I'll explain that in a moment, but Rooney has the same exact color scheme and personality as these chairs. <laughs> so, why I'm panicking there, uh, the game can randomly decide to give me cutscene skips, which skips the entire animation leading up to that and immediately puts me in the panic event. If you're wondering how I do it, it just happens. And we can open this like a standard human being would open a crate. Someone tells me she doesn't know how to drive a forklift. No, she doesn't. But she tries her best. Oh, poor soul. That's open. I mean, yeah, I guess that's how yeah. Anyway, we talked to Monica, and uh, now I've actually done one of the major endgame um, notes that I need. Because, again, the category is called Two Survivors, and we need Monica to make it to the end. Uh, I'm going to be uh, straight with you, Chad. Um, I don't know why they decided to make the camera like this. But here's Rooney's booty. Take the cell phone, and normally you have to look down here to do a panic event where Maria dies. Uh, but we're gonna let Maria live. Uh, if you go too far forward, you would die by stabbing. Uh, however, I'm gonna use the power of technology, a cell phone. Because uh, Rooney is too dummy thick, and she can't use that here, so she stands up in the vent. Uh, by doing that, I've avoided death. This is the hardest skip in the game because of the awkward angle. I click there, and now she's stopped. And I'm now going to click on this door with the smartphone, and you can't use that here. Uh, if you do not have that, you would die by purgatory, and no one wants to go to purgatory. And I remember Leonard, guys? I remember Leonard. Well, they took his skin, and he's uh, on life support. Oh, he's not oh. so manly anymore, I guess. <laughs> we have to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Leonard. Well, here's some Kickstarter backers. Bye, Kickstarter backers. What? They're no longer in the game. <laughs> I even kicked how out. much they paid for that? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say screams are $1,000. Oh, my God. Oh, so they paid for the scream. That too. So they did pay for their likeness too to be put in the game for them falling. Like yep. for you couldn't even see them. Here's uh, the dead body from earlier. He's now a living body. Also hardest QTV in the game for some reason. But now he's gone. What was that dude doing? Uh, vibing. <laughs> 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 so Rooney is gonna do the smartest thing, and we're gonna deal with the Scissor Walker in the only way Rooney knows how. Running awkwardly by becoming an electrician. Oh. I like how she waits for it. 
Now, Rooney just runs in it. Oh, now, she has the same personality as a chair, and I'm pretty sure chairs don't get electrified, so that's why she's able to do Electric this. chair, Eck. There's what those exist. <laughs> <laughs> I... The Adventures of Rooney 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> yeah. By going up these stairs, I'm going to get a scissor walker encounter. Man, you went full circle. Yep. Um, you could technically skip this, but I haven't been able to find a way yet. Um, but I'm going to be going over here. I'll let you all guess what's going to happen to the scissor walker here. Now, Looney, not Looney, Rooney is blood related to Leonard. So she does have some of Leonard's power. Well, what do you think is going to happen, Couch? Some Home Alone stuff. I don't know. Well, it's a sneak attack. Oh, my. Let's go, yep, Rooney. Some Home Alone stuff. Rooney is going to take out the trash. And that just murdered the scissor walkers because she's no longer in the room. Um, but now... Deleted. Dog? He's baby. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a backup strat I'm doing because there's some RNG later in the game I don't want to have to just, like, not do. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, baby's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and now with that, we have a billiard ball. And uh, we're going to have one more skip. So normally you're supposed to have three billiard balls, but... Uh, I can't actually use that here, so I'm gonna skip Vigo entirely. He's just gonna watch me type this in. Normally, he would kill you and you'd get a bad ending. However, I can now do this and we passed it. And there's no actual requirements. So Vigo's just gonna chill here until he's needed later, I suppose. And you're just stay with money and an eye, and Rooney is going to grab the eye, because. That's the obvious choice. <laughs> no. Oh. Hey, there's Monica. You okay, Rooney? Uh, the run doesn't end yet because there's one more action I'll have to do. Uh, we'll have time when we hit that. It will be coming up. She'll eventually get it. Anyway, there's two options here. You can have the scissor walker just kill you and then Eric survives, but this is two survivors, so... And this is going to be time. And I'm gonna play this out because there's one thing I want to show off still, or a few things. Yeah. But... Um... <laughs> it's just gonna be my reaction to a few things. And we also have to see what happens to Rooney. Keep beating the door. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she pulled out her own eye? Yep. She has a cool brand new eye. It's an upgrade. Well, Scissor Walker's like, man, why'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Revenge is yours. Destroy the man who turned you into a monster. Well, actually, guys, you didn't know. They actually got a uh, voice recording of me. This is going to be me if I get rejected for SGDQ. Wait! Wait! This can't be! No! No! This can't be! <laughs> also, not just that, but the after part as well. Like... <laughs> yeah, thank you all so much, and I hope you enjoyed Nightcry and the Awful Block. We'll be going into the normal horror block now.